Hello Beginner Dragons, this is Mr. Van and today is going to be the first video of this week and as of this week I believe that all of the students of Auburn are going to be back in school. I don't know about any other districts so I'm going to try and make this really short because I know it might be a busy week for some people. If not, that's perfectly okay. Um, I'm still going to try and make it short but if you guys are going back to school this week or you already have gone to already have gone back to school that uh any past week um i wish you guys the best of luck for this week um and yeah uh let's go right into our physical men's goal which is going to be intensity and um anger management so intensity i've said this before in past videos well the past three videos i think but um intensity is showing off what you feel and what you want to do just by your physical uh, uh, appearance or how you show yourself. So if you guys are trying to show that you guys are angry, you might be clenching your fists together or your uh, eyebrows might be pointed downwards because you're angry and you might have a frown. If you're happy, obviously you're not going to be putting your hands up for a fight or something like that. Or you might be um, smiling instead of... Uh, having a frown, you might even be laughing. So, um, just like that, uh, you can also bring that into school. So instead of uh, being that shy kid in the back of the class with your head down, maybe you wanna be uh, more expressive because you wanna show off that you are um, attentive in class, which means you want to show that you want to learn and you wanna, uh, you wanna pay attention throughout the class. So you might have your back straight, uh, you're smiling, you're looking directly at the teacher or the whiteboard or whatever. Um, yeah, or the screen if you're doing uh, remote learning. Um, yeah, so that's um, some stuff um, for intensity. Uh, so basically it's just showing off your emotions, showing uh, how you might want to express yourself the second thing is anger management so we've talked about some ways to deal with our anger management in the past like um like thinking about what they uh are thinking about like what their argument is and uh thinking about does our argument also make sense but now we're going to talk about um something about our anger that might help us uh, cool down, make sure that we don't lash out on anyone. So even if you think you're right, you might still be wrong. So let's say um, I think that the earth is more land than water. Obviously the water on earth is more than the land on earth. So um, if you guys didn't know that, that's true. But Let's say I'm arguing with my teacher and I'm saying my teacher is wrong, but she keeps on telling me that she's right, which she is. So I might be angry and thinking that she's wrong and I just scream at her. So I just scream at my teacher and now I got a detention or lunch detention or whatever punishment that she might give me and I'm still wrong. So you might want to think about some ways about cooling down and instead of lashing out on your teacher you might think of some ways to instead think properly and try and agree on her arguments like uh, I know a lot of people think about counting to 10 so walking away counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 obviously you can't do that in a classroom but um, say you're having an argument with your friend about who gets to play with the basketball next or who gets to play video games next, or um, who gets to play with the dolls next, or something like that. Um, you could uh, instead just walk away, count to 10, come back, maybe take a couple deep breaths so that you guys calm down, something like that. Uh, that's one way to, uh, those are a couple ways to um, help manage our anger and not actually lash out on someone instead uh, actually calming ourselves down instead of actually taking out our anger on someone else even if they aren't uh, 
wrong, uh, even if they aren't right, it doesn't mean that you get to uh, just scream at them and tell them that they are wrong. You have to calm down and be able to um, calmly explain why you are right or calmly explain that you were wrong and you understand why the other person was right. So um, that was our physical mental goal for uh, the explanation part of today. Um, now we are going to move on to our uh, we are going to move on to our warm up. So um, our warm up is going to be pretty simple because I don't really want you guys to be um, stressed out. Oh, I gotta get ready for school, and I'm in school or something like that. And uh, I also have to um, I also have to do this karate class, and I also have to help out my mom and dad at home things like that I don't want you to stress out about everything right now so we're gonna make it pretty easy um, again I don't want this to be too long so I'll maybe do like a couple seconds of the warm-up but I won't really make it too long anyways so uh, for this warm-up it's gonna be pretty simple I want you guys to go up to three and push-ups and then back down from three so um, pretty basic stuff so you could do regular push-ups. You can do fist push-ups, which is just putting your fist on the ground, doing regular push-ups like so. So I have my fist on the ground and I do push-ups one, and then that's obviously one. And then after that, you would go up to two. So one, two, and then three, then two, then one. So you're basically climbing up a ladder and then Climbing back down. So that's the first step is one, second step is two, third step is three, and then you go back down to two, and then back down to one, and that's the whole warm up for the push up part. Then you can do the same thing for crunches or sit ups or whatever um, word you want to call it. So let's get into our sit up position. So one, and then one, two, one, two, and then you go one, two, three etc etc so after you do the sit-ups you can do jumping jacks one one two and then three then four i mean three then two then one uh i didn't want to make it up to five because again school is starting this week for some people and i want you guys to focus more on school um preparation instead of uh worrying about oh i have to do this for this class today and then I can get ready later. Uh, make sure that you guys actually uh, prepare for that and not stress out because this is okay uh, to just do a couple bits of it and then come back to it later. School is very important and I want you guys to make sure that you guys are preparing for that. Um, after that, we are going on to um, our form, which is Dragon Form 2. I'm going to point out a couple small details that I want you guys to make sure of. For today, I want you guys to make sure you are hitting with the right part for um, certain moves. So, uh, if you guys noticed, I did fist push-ups for our warm-up today because that is very important. Fist push-ups actually helps us uh, remember where we're hitting with a punch. So, if we're doing a twist and punch, we are hitting with our two front ones. So, I don't know if you guys can see it, but our two front ones are our index and our middle. So, not the thumb, not the ring, and not the pinky, our index and our uh, middle finger. So, those are the two knuckles that you want to punch with. So, if you guys have a pillow or something, go up to your pillow, punch it very softly and very slowly so you guys can focus and actually hit with the two correct uh, knuckles. You can do this with a wall, just make sure that you guys don't hurt yourself and you don't hit the wall too hard because number one, that could break your wrist or um, hurt yourself because um, if you guys are even doing it very slightly wrong, even if you're just a couple uh, centimeters off, you could just bend your wrist inwards and that really hurts. So uh, if you guys are doing this to a wall, Make sure that you guys are doing it very slowly, very softly, so that you don't break the wall and you don't break yourself. That is very important. 
So we're just going to review every move of the form, uh, making sure we have the form down solid and we actually are making sure that we're hitting with the right parts. And like I said, um, you can punch the wall, the pillow, just make sure that you guys are doing it very slowly, very softly, and very carefully so that you don't hurt yourself or the wall or the pillow or whatever you're hitting. So uh, if you guys are struggling with, uh, am I doing this right? Just practice it on a pillow or something like that so that you guys have that um, repetition and you have that actual physical contact to know if you guys are actually doing it right or wrong. So uh, let's get started. We'll go into our feet together. Dragon form two, sir. We start off in our guard stance. Like I said last week, make sure that you have that toe heel line. Um, for our touchdown or our low block, whatever you want to call it, we are hitting with the side of our wrist and hand. So if you want that more surface area, which makes it so that you guys have more uh, room of error. So if you guys do it wrong even a little bit, you're still going to kind of get it right. You can hit with the whole side of your uh, fist like so, like a hammer fist, so that you guys actually have all that um, uh, area to not get hurt. If you guys want to do more accurate and more precise um, blocks, make sure that you guys are using just this side of your uh, fist so that you guys don't, um, uh, it's so that you guys get more power from it because it has less surface area, which means there's more force in that surface area, which makes it more powerful. So again, low block, side of your hand or fist, um, you go into that twist and punch, like I said earlier, making sure that you have those two uh, knuckles hitting, and then you get into that cat stance. Front kick, for this front kick, make sure that you guys are using the ball of your foot, which if you guys don't know, it's that little uh, part of your foot right underneath your big toe. So if you guys are uh, standing on your tippy toes, it's right about where the ball of your foot is. Um, if you guys uh, are really confused, I'm sure I did explain it in a past video before, but I think you guys should understand where I'm talking about uh, by now. So after you do that front kick, you do another twist and punch. Again, two knuckles, you turn the foot, pizza kick. It's about where your shoelaces would be if you guys are tying your shoes. So if you were to tie your shoes, you would be kicking with that part of your foot. So after that, you do a make an X back fist. By the name of it, you guys should know that you're hitting with the back of your fist. Then you do a make an X hammer fist, the side of your, uh, of your fist, slide up side kick using the heel of your foot, which is the bottom back of your foot. So right underneath, right here. So you do that slide up side kick, do a back fist again, back of your fist, palm strike, like the name says, hitting with the palm, and then a pump drum front kick, which is a front kick, but with a pump in the middle, so obviously it's still gonna be hitting with the ball of your foot. I got So, um, yeah, um, like I said earlier, if you guys are struggling with where things are, um, the ball of your foot is right here, and the heel of your foot is right here, and where you tie your shoelaces, right here. If you guys want to um, practice where you're actually hitting or what uh, part of your hand you're trying to hit, um, again, use a pillow. Softly touch the wall. Do not hit the wall. Softly touch it. Don't hit it. Don't break your hand. Don't break the wall. Just softly, just touch it. And um, pillows, same thing. Softly hit it. Um, you can actually hit those but make sure that it's safe and you're not gonna hurt yourself if you're gonna punch a pillow. Um, same thing with everything else. If it's gonna break or it's gonna break you, don't hit it, just softly touch it. If it's soft enough to not get broken and not break you, you can hit it harder, just don't hit it hard enough for it to accidentally hurt someone else. And that's gonna be it for me. Uh, have a good day.